I thought that it would be so hard to be your friend. Trying to talk, I'm even calling you, responding via text. Or we thought I'm trying to diss you, so I chose to disconnect. I did it for my inner peace, not for the internet. Takes a lot to know yourself and stand for something in the end. Broke down what we were building, left me here to reinvent. You lied about a lot, so you should rather keep it in. Every nature of every relationship consists of only three things. They are either friendships of pleasure, utility or virtue. Friendships of pleasure are the people you occasionally have fun with. Friendships of utility are the what have you done for me more like a business related friendship. But friendships of virtue are the lifelong friendships, based on mutual respect and brotherhood. In 2017 the Wrecking Crew was formed, consisting of Aries, Flame, Mashbeats, X Global, Echo, Mellow and Benchmark. After the departure of a few members, the Rubber Band Gang was later formed. With the demise of the newly formed crew. It just clearly shows that hip-hop crews aren't simply built to last. Based on the fact that most of these relationships, are relationships of virtue. Welcome to Hip Hop with Prosper. Please do like and subscribe. Let's get to it. Bonded by their love of hip hop and music. Flame and Aries were undeniable the best hip hop duo in the game from being let down by their previous record label Ambitious Entertainment. The two had their backs against the wall. Being faced with only two options. Either you fold or you rise to the occasion. The two had to make a wise decision. A decision that would change the hip-hop game forever. Hitting a home run with the momentum he got from Ambitious Entertainment. Aries saw fit to build his own record label. Leveraging his fame he gave a platform to other artists which weren't previously known to the masses. This move resulted in him having an entertainment firm, consisting of artists, photographers, videographers, producers and engineers. To some Aries was a stepping stone. Through this move most of the talents surrounding him were getting a livelihood. It was the same livelihood which led to the group's departure. Over various interviews. The other crew members clearly stated that they left simply because there was a mismanagement of funds. In an interview in which the group TWC did with Slicker, they clearly stated that whatever money that an artist makes from shows they pocket it. And whatever money the entire group makes as a collective that money would be used for their expenses. Having that in mind, it was easy for the other artist to know how much money they had actually made. If they performed a show then they would get that money directly. The mismanagement of funds simply comes from music royalties, from music videos going viral on YouTube, and having multiple stream on Spotify and Apple Music. The other crew members were probably entitled to a certain percentage. And with royalties taking time to mature, some artists would feel entitled to be paid immediately. Since the departure of the Wrecking Crew, Aries has managed to become one of the most streamed and high-selling artists, going number one multiple times with just mixtapes. Not the same can be said with Echo, Mellow and X Global. Nowadays if you insert their names on the Google search bar, all you find is articles of TWC splitting up. Is that really their pinnacle? Just like the famous story in the Bible, Jezebel has always been known as the demon. That led to the downfall of many men from forming what was South Africa's most loved hip-hop group, to falling out over a female. The rose from the concrete duo Aries and Flame were no more. Well who is to blame? Aries felt like Flame chose a female over their friendship. While Flame felt as though Aries was more loyal to X Global. To give you the backstory, Flame caught feelings for some girl. While X Global allegedly slept with that girl, Aries simply comes into the mix based on a statement that he knew what X Global and that girl did, and chose not to tell Flame. Another video surfaced, where we can see Aries and Flame in a heated exchange. Now the way I see it, is that there's two balls in the court. Either Aries thought that the girl belonged to the streets, and was for everybody, and didn't know that Flame caught feelings, or he felt that he is not a snitch. But apparently the whole crew knew about X Global and that girl. X Global also came out and said the girl was his ex. So I don't know. But if there's one thing I know, is that women have destroyed empires for years. 
Ares and Flame had formed a brotherhood. They were best friends. Their relationship made it harder for Flame, to collaborate with other artists like Empty, who at that time, weren't cool with each other. So is Ares really the bad guy? Well with everybody around him blaming him after their departure, from every label he is associated with. It is very easy to see why everybody calls him the bad guy. With having mastered moving militant, Ares is not an individual that is very vocal or radioactive. When you choose to stay silent, it's very easy for people to spin and manipulate the narrative, in their favor and blame you for their downfall. To become truly great, one has to stand with people, not above them. The way I see it is. Ares opened his platform to some of these other artists. He gave them exposure, nurtured their talent and provided a platform, that allowed them to be familiar with the masses. The pinnacle for some of these artists will always be a Ares feature, cameo or verse. Their highest stream or YouTube video views, will feature or revolve around Ares. Not only did he provide his platform, he gave them his voice, he featured them in his songs and videos, giving them exposure. He allowed them to tag along in his interviews and shows. He gave them a plate and some probably got greedy, and wanted to eat from his plate. Ambitious Entertainment gave him a platform. When he became independent, he also gave his platform to other creatives. It's true when they say, nobody wins when the family feuds. But. Was it a family, or a group of individuals, brought together by their passion and love for hip-hop? When it's all said and done. It's really easy to say. Make sure you watch our previous videos, in order to get a full perspective on how the music industry operates. Please like and subscribe. As I will be releasing more videos, exposing the music industry. Follow me on Instagram, at Hip Hop with Prosper. And on Twitter, at Hip Hop by Prosper. If I have left anything out, please let me know in the comments section. Stay safe and take care. See you on the next one.